Tonight, more heavy rain and damaging winds on the way as wild weather lashes the state. The Prime Minister gives some boats to stop the boats. A Brothers for Life associate arrested trying to skip the country. More flexibility for working parents that plan to overhaul childcare. And golf's golden boy, Adam Scott, does it again. This is Nine News with Peter Overton. Good evening. Gale force winds with gusts of up to 90 kilometres an hour are about to add to Sydney's discomfort. It's been another shocking 24 hours with hailstones resembling snow in the state's north and two dramatic rescues in the city's southwest and east. The frantic search for a rock fisherman missing off all clues this morning. They get the day off and they have a couple of injury concerns of their own, Pete. And... Stay with us in the news ahead, the devastating helicopter crash that claimed two lives. How did a motorcyclist survive this horror crash? And Prince Charles gets his groove on in Sri Lanka. United Nations Chief Ban Ki-moon says the typhoon that devastated parts of the Philippines was a warning to the world about the dangers of climate change. The official death toll now stands at close to 4,000, but it's claimed the government may be deliberately downplaying the true number. Substantial food and medical aid has finally begun reaching survivors. Two pilots have died after their helicopter clipped an apartment building in Seoul and plunged to the ground. It happened in the upmarket Gangnam district of the city. It's thought heavy fog contributed to the crash. A motorcyclist has survived a horror crash in southern China. The female rider was hit by a truck and dragged for several metres before catching fire. Witnesses raced to help extinguish the flames. The rider is being treated in hospital. Prince Charles has put his best foot forward during a visit to a school in Sri Lanka. The 65-year-old rounded off his tour of the country, joining the children for a few rounds of the hokey pokey. A walk through the tranquil hills of Sri Lanka, the perfect end to his whistle-stop tour. Peter Stefanovic, Nine News. <laughs> It's time for sport now with Ken. Good evening. Good evening to you, Peter. And uh, once again, Adam Scott has proved an irresistible force. It wasn't easy, but Great Scott is Australian Masters champion again. The Kangaroos' huge win, but it comes at a cost. And in their second season, the Wanderers continue to soar. Heart attack and stroke. The deadly effects of sleep apnea. It's a lot of strain on your body, particularly your heart. In a special Nine News health report, the change in treatment that could save thousands of Australian lives. More than a million Australians take this type of medication every day. Nine News, Monday at 6. This sports report proudly brought to you by the new Look Prado. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. What a year Adam Scott is having. He claimed his first major, the US Masters, last weekend, the PGA. Today, it was another Australian Masters title. Scott won by two shots from American Matt Kuchar and is now on target for the Australian Triple Crown. If the opening hole was any indication, Adam Scott and Vijay Singh were set for a ding-dong battle. Punch and Red Bull teammate Mark Webber Mark by 0.1 of a second. Him. That's very close, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> it's tight, Ken. <laughs> I'll bet Adam Scott wishes this year would never end. Oh, he's got a wardrobe full of jackets now. <laughs> Gee, he's good. And the Wallabies, isn't that good news yeah, too? Two in a row. <laughs> Thank you. Coming up, more rain on the way, but how long will it last? I'll have all the weather for the week ahead. Next. This weather report brought to you by Holden's 2013 Stock Clearance Sale. Great drive-away prices across a range of Holden's. Think fast before they're gone. It was a wet and windy day right across Sydney with temperatures reaching 18 degrees in the city and 17 in our west. The worst of the low pressure system will hit the Sydney metropolitan area tomorrow morning while a low and trough over northern Queensland and the Northern Territory will bring heavy rain and the odd storm. 
Around the country tomorrow, storms for Brisbane, partly cloudy in Canberra, and a sunny day for Melbourne, 20 degree, 28 degrees the top. Across New South Wales, it'll be wet across the state's northeast. Coffs Harbour expecting a top of 22, 19 degrees for Mudgee. Further south, it should be sunny and 27 for Albury. In Sydney, we can expect another wet day and a top of 20 degrees. Katoomba can expect a high of just 12, 19 for Penrith and Campbelltown, 20 degrees in Liverpool. It should reach 18 degrees in Cronulla and a top of 20 at Gosford. Looking further ahead, the rain should clear by Wednesday with a top of 25 before showers set in again on Thursday and Friday. And similar conditions in our west, mostly fine and 31 degrees on Wednesday. Clear skies again in time for the weekend. Before we go, here's a quick look at what's in store on tonight's edition of 60 Minutes. Thanks, Pete. Tonight, the women conceiving children with their dearly departed. I remember thinking, is it really true that I'm allowed to take this spoon? The new ethical dilemma. I wanted it for me, and I wanted it for us. Taking sperm from dead men. Is it really legal? That's tonight at 7.30. Back to you, Pete. Thank you, Tara. We'll see you then. That is Nine News for this Sunday. I'm Peter Overton. I hope you have a good evening. On behalf of Ken and myself, good night.